Hi everyone, and welcome to a tutorial for the uh, custom volume shapes. Um, in this tu tutorial, I'm going to be adding a uh, multicast event for entering and leaving so that we can have something happen uh, whenever a player on the server enters a volume and it's going to happen for everyone. It's going to do a multicast event, basically. So, let's get started. Um, I've not tried this yet, so I hope it works, but if you're looking at this video, it means it probably works. First, I would like to make a uh, I would like to duplicate the BP duplicate me and I'm going to call it BP multiplayer base. Then I think we'll have to have an event in here. I think we'll use these two and we'll add new ones. So yeah, at custom event, we'll call this multi enter entered. And we'll add another one. Multi left. So let's comment this. Uh, multiplayer events triggered on all. I'm not gonna color it because you know it's just a tutorial video. But so what do we do now when uh, we don't have the authority because we don't own the the volumes to um, execute things on the server so when we enter locally we need to communicate to our play character he, you enter this volume now please ask the server to execute the multi uh, the multicast so on event entered we do get player character <coughs> Sorry about that. And get player character zero uh, gets the local player character. So that's exactly what we want. And now you need to cast to your character, which in my case is no clue. Character BP third person character over here. Cast to to BP. Wow, my hands today are freezing up. Third person character, copy paste that over. We want to do the same thing on left. And now we need to actually go into our play character and add some custom events. So I'm just gonna go away and I'm gonna call add custom event entered volume. Uh, yeah. Add custom event left volume. I'm just not gonna think too much about proper naming. I'll just comment this multiplayer events for the sake of uh, yeah, so we know what we're doing. And then we need a reference to that volume. Did I not call it core? Why am I like this? <laughs> All right, custom volumes core, uh, BP spline volume. Okay. BP spline volume volume ref and same thing here volume ref all right great so now we know what uh, volume is actually you know requesting something then we'll do a switch as authority so this checks is who who's requesting this is this a server is this a a, a client um if, if it was the server it wouldn't be much of an issue um so we have we'll have two events here like you usually you know set up at custom event uh server entered volume at custom event server left volume now these two we need to um, ex replicate run on server so these are called on the server which is kind of in a name and we need to do that on remote so if it's not the server asking we need to ask the server because he's the only one that can really call multicast that can request things from all clients so if we're not the server we ask the server <coughs> that was my phone sorry server entered volume server left volume so now we have these events to call but now we need the actual multicast events um add custom event multi multi entered volume add custom 
event multi left volume and we need to set this replicate to multicast multicast there we go all right so now we have one that executes on all of them and that's where we want to put the logic but first we move our way up server entered volume needs to call multi entered volume and server left volume needs to call multi left volume so if we are already the server we can call multi left volume and same goes for here if we're already the server we can call multi entered volume and now we need to do something with this we need to actually <coughs> communicate that through can i do that no i have to do it this way hmm. volume ref i'm actually gonna copy paste this um, all of them basically need the input volume reference and so we add those so now you can connect all of them volume reference volume reference do we clean this up maybe no we're too lazy and now we have that multicast event what do we call it multi entered multi left so multi entered no that's uh okay that was dumb we took <laughs> All uh, right, so we of course added this to our multiplayer base and we took our base base, which is not the smartest move. So multiplayer, multiplayer, uh, all of them needs to need to use the, the multiplayer base. Sorry guys. You can always do a times two on YouTube. Otherwise we can't call an event in the multiplayer base. Uh, I mean, we could fix it, but let's try to, yeah, that's it. Let's just try to do it the right way. All right. So now we should be able to call multi entered. Yeah, multi left. I know we named them that way, but we don't actually have to make these a multicast because, you know, they're, they're still run on all, on all the clients, I think. Um, so. We can now make a child of this. VP MP multiplayer town names. Open it up and just delete this instead of duplicating. You know, we did the. So now we need to call multi entered, multi left. Event multi entered, event multi left. These are the two that we'll use. I don't think we'll even use left. No, we don't use one for left. So we copy paste this logic. And when we enter, boom. And we'll do we'll do this just to make sure. Print string. Um, left. Town name. Let's make this five. So we have time to see it. Town name. Help. Welcome to help. All right. So now we have this. We can drag it in. Let uh, the visualization stand on. Actually, that's fine. Uh, two. Play as listen server. Let's play. Let's see it. Let's check it out. All righty. So we enter. Doesn't work because we didn't set this up yet. Cool. Um, entered volume self help we get to see it on both of the screens it's still only executed once so because it still has to do once and it's executed on all of them so it's still done once left server client zero left left yeah because left is now also called on both of them that's something you have to keep in mind you know one person leaves 
all the persons leave. This is really, uh, you know, this is really just there for some of those uh, events that you might want to have on the multicast. So this actually worked. It didn't go as smoothly as possible, but yeah, like I said, I didn't really prepare for this. I just thought this could be a way to do it and help you get started on on maybe adding a multiplayer uh, multicast event. And I guess this is a way to do it. There's always multiple ways to do it, but this would be, you know, if no matter how many children you make, you only have to call these multi-entered, multi-left. Now, why isn't this part of the main package, you might wonder? Um, I don't, uh, yeah, because it's multiplayer. I always feel if you work on a multiplayer project, you should really know what every piece of your logic does. And having you set up this, because this is character specific, so you know, because you have to add those events to your character. So because it is uh, a little bit specific, I wanted to do it together instead of having it be a part of the package. I hope you understand that. If this was useful to you, uh, please leave a five star review and uh, subscribe. You know, so you can uh, see future updates and uh, more tutorials if you like. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, this package serves you well. And yeah, make sure to join the Discord. That's all the self promotion. All right, bye.